Tom grew up in Chicago, the city of tall skyscrapers, big attractions, and lots of people. He rode the Ferris wheel at Navy Pier, and climbed the Sears Tower numerous times. However, this posed a problem for Tom. He attends a public school that is packed to the brim with students, something that's caused by the big population. There are over 3,000 kids at Tom's school. On the first day, they were crowding the courtyard and Tom hadn't ever seen so many people. It was very intimidating. Sometimes, there's as many as 40 kids in a math class, and it's something that Tom isn't good at either. He really needs help with it. Because of this, Tom had some rough times getting through math class, and he didn't always have great grades. It was really scary to him every time he came to school and saw all the kids around. Both of Tom's parents were busy when he's home from school. When Tom was born, he grew like any other kid. He learned to walk, talk, and do basic things just like anyone else. But when Tom was between the ages of 5 and 11, he didn't receive the encouragement or attention he needed because his parents weren't always there for him. This made life as a teen pretty hard for Tom. Tom's dad works as a delivery man. He gets to bring important packages between businesses. He likes his job for the most part because he's able to carry around important things and rush around in a truck. However, him and his mother are both spending almost all of their day working to put Tom into school because of the high costs in Chicago. His mother spends time as a cleaning lady, working all day just as his dad. They were, she works in offices and apartments to do what she can to keep him in school. Because his parents weren't there to provide the encouragement he needed when he was growing up, he wasn't all that confident as he moved further on into life and his social development slowed. Tom would see all the kids together talking in the halls between classes and he saw them being great friends and having fun. However, he wasn't comfortable talking to them because he was scared of how they might react to him. This was probably because of the way his parents didn't really encourage him when he was younger. Because he isn't interacting with others, he isn't developing socially with the other experienced people around him. What Tom really needed is an experienced and personal teacher who was there to help him develop. This is also mainly to help him with his math homework. However, he can't really receive this at his school. There are so many kids there and the teachers aren't all there and there isn't enough teachers to help them all out. They're always pretty stretched thin and pretty uh, stressful just because of how much work they have to do for the kids. While in his math class one day, he couldn't figure out his trigonometry. He knew he needed help, but there was a problem. He had seen other kids get yelled at for trying to get help in class just because the teachers were so stressed out. So in fear of being yelled at, he decided to stay at his desk, becoming even more frustrated with his math. However, Tom did eventually meet a friend who was nice enough to say hi one day. His name was George, and the next day he invited Tom to go to their church's youth group. It wasn't very far from his home, so they walked there after school. Tom didn't have anything else going on and decided to go along. He didn't want to sit at home and be frustrated with his math homework with his parents arguing in the background even if they were home. While Tom was there, he met some very friendly and accepting people, and he loved every moment of it. He decided to regularly attend and eventually developed close relationships with multiple people there, who helped him gain the confidence and gave him the praise he needed to continue growing. He made many friends. While Tom was there, he met his youth leader John as well. John would help Tom any time that he was confused or needed help with something, and this included his really tough math homework. John was pretty good with math when he was in high school and he was willing to help Tom out with the concepts he didn't understand. Tom became happy with what he was able to achieve. Now he had people in his life who acknowledged his accomplishments. And with this, Tom started growing his faith with the help of John, which was such a great thing that happened in his life. Tom eventually became a member of the church that George had introduced him to. He kept developing as he moved on further into life, and he attended the college that he'd always dreamed to. In the end, Tom accomplished what he needed to, and was confident in himself. Tom lived happily ever after. The end.